Alright, my name is Researcher Ro Lucian, and today I'm going to be talking about the group of interest, Church of the Broken God. Group number. Group of interest 004, the Church of the Broken God. Membership. Three known factions. Around 300,000 worldwide. Resources. USD 1 through 5 billion annually. Anomalous capability. Status. Active. Description. The Church of the Broken God is an anomalous religious organization which worships mechanization and believes flesh and life to be inherently evil or broken. Though its origins are unknown, Broken God-related artifacts have been recovered from archaeological digs dating back to the Greek Classical period. And Church Dogma asserts its existence predates the appearance of life on Earth. Central to their theology is that their deity has been scattered, dispersed, or otherwise rendered inert. Through the use of technology, often anomalous, church followers seek to bring together the components of the body of God, thereby allowing the divine a physical form to utilize and bringing about some sort of techno-organic apotheosis. Several SCP objects have been attributed to this group since its discovery. Personnel may reference items indexed under Broken God for a restricted list. The current leader of the oldest extant denomination of the Broken Church, Group of Interest 004A, is an individual identified in records as His Holiness Robert Bumaro, Builder of the Broken God, who apparently gained the title in 1946. Footnote 1. Spanish nationalist records from 1938 mention a civil mechanic by the name of Umberto Bumaro who received several government citations for miraculous feats of engineering and mechanical repair in service to the state. Whether or not this is the same individual and his whereabouts during the Second World War is unknown. While this sect continues its efforts to reconstruct their deity, the religion as a whole has at some time in the past century undergone a major schism. Two significant breakaway movements from the original church have entered into a major theological conflict. The Cogworth Orthodox Church, Group of Interest 004b, espouses a form of literal religious iconography known as standardization, whereby adherents submit to anomalous mechanical enhancement with the stated goal of remaking themselves in the image or plan of their deity. Due to the extent of their mechanical augmentation, members of this sect often emit audible ticking or tapping sounds, and have been referred to disparagingly as tickers by members of the other two sects. Cogworth Orthodoxy deliberately adheres to the technological norms of the late Industrial Revolution, and regard the mass production of analog steam and clockwork-driven machinery as a form of prayer. Orthodoxy doctrine is highly centralized and regulated by a group of unknown composition, known as the Patriarchs. This body issues detailed production orders and design documents, which form the core of the group's extremely extensive Holy Writ. Orthodox belief decries the use of electronic or digital devices, and views distributed information sharing and decentralization as tantamount to the dissolution of divine knowledge. The Church of Maxwellism, Group of Interest 004C, represents a modernized computation and network-oriented means of worship. No central organizing church body is known to exist. However, interviews and covert surveillance has determined that all known cells are in regular contact with one another, and capable of coordination. Maxwellists favor small-scale body modification through the use of advanced cybernetics and organ enhancements. While artificial limbs or reinforced skeletons have been observed, Maxwellist implants focus primarily on communication, data storage, networking capabilities, and sensory enhancements. Maxwellist doctrine interprets the broken god as a fragmented deity which exists as disparate data present in the linked technology and cultural zeitgeist of the digital age. Worshippers approach the divine by embracing their unique traits and sharing their knowledge and capacity for the good of the collective church. By connecting all minds through computer networks, they believe their deity can be recompiled as the aggregate will of humanity. Due to their use of computer fan noise as a meditative aid, members are often referred to as hummers by members of the other two factions. History. Given the fragmented nature of Group of Interest 004, a clear timeline of events involving the Church is difficult to determine. Contradictory information regarding its origin, primary doctrines, important figures, and historical development is collected with every raid on hostile cells. 
The retroactive recognition of unrelated cults as predecessors of the church represents a significant problem for Foundation historians. The following is a brief summary of information regarding the church's history, from sources the Foundation presently considers the most reliable. It is to be taken as a guideline when dealing with members of the group of interest or suspected artifacts. Though Foundation agents and researchers must always remember that it represents incomplete knowledge, subject to expansion or amendment with every new discovery. Shaw Anomalous Culture Group Recent archaeological findings of ancient anomalous sites have established a link between the ancient Shaw dynasty, a legendary dynasty which ruled China from 2100 to 1600 BCE, of which there is no non-anomalous evidence, and the cult of the Broken God. The Shaw culture group practiced a dualistic religion, worshipping entities known as Father Serpent Fushi, equivalent to the Broken God, and Mother Dragon Nuwa, equivalent to the Sarkic deity, above all gods. Scholars were said to practice the Way of the Serpent, and members of the culture underwent at age 12 transformations into serpentine bodies, said to resemble the body of the dragon. These anomalous transformations, along with the anachronistic technology recovered from archaeological sites, confirm the Shah dynasty as one of the first anomalous civilizations in historical record. According to Shah cosmology, Fushi and Nuwa fought after creating humankind, eventually culminating in Fushi transforming himself into a great brass cage to imprison Nuwa. While the worship of Fushi took precedence over worship of Nuwa, the Shaw culture group saw the rebuilding of Fushi as an event to be prevented at all costs, since it would free Nuwa from her cage and lead to the end of the world. The dynasty is said to have started with the Yellow Emperor, a legendary figure considered to be the initiator of Chinese civilization, who defeated contemporaneous worshippers of Fushi and Nuwa. Throughout their history, the Shaw civilization would enter conflicts with other civilizations such as the aforementioned cults, the Orthothen Civilization, the future Shang Dynasty, and... The Shaw culture group is significantly more advanced than any other civilizations of their time, having developed structures similar to computing devices up to and including artificial intelligence, as well as a writing system more developed than the future Shang Dynasty, and even reality warping devices. They were accomplished blacksmiths, particularly of bronze and beryllium bronze alloy, present in several anomalous objects. The properties of this alloy are currently being researched. Records suggest the Shaw culture developed methods of interstellar travel. Whether these were constructed, theorized only, or something else entirely has not been determined. The Shaw dynasty came to an end following a conflict with creatures identified as Golden Crows, which destroyed all physical evidence of their existence outside of a few anomalous sites, objects, and organisms. Information on them persisted through legends of the surrounding and succeeding cultures, and there are accounts of the continued presence of survivors as guardians of forgotten history. For more information on the Shaw Anomalous Culture Group, see document 2481. The Mechanite Empire Ample evidence has been collected of the presence of broken god cults in Mycenaean Greece, a Greek civilization spanning the years 1600 to 1100 BCE. The Broken God came to be known as Mechane, and over time the cult grew powerful enough to establish a Mechanite Empire, existing roughly from 1200 BCE to 1000 BCE. Footnote 2 Translated Machine The Mechanite Empire was a highly centralized theocratic state, with no distinction between the position of political, religious, and military leader. The state maintained control over the production of goods, particularly of the metallurgic industry, considering it a holy craft. The Empire had strong trading relations with Egypt, Assyria, and Canaan. Their aggressive commercial policies, evangelization practices, and naval strength made them one of the most powerful states at the time, though they also gave them an unpopular reputation among contemporary states. The Mechanite Empire introduced several important concepts to the Broken God theology, most importantly the establishment of the rebuilding of the Broken God as the ultimate goal of the Church. Written accounts document the change from a primarily deistic religion to the current apotheosis doctrine as far back as 1154 BCE. Of important note is that the earliest known document that proposes this doctrine called the Broken God, Wan. Footnote 3. Relation, if any, to the Wan worshipped by the Church of Maxwellism remains unknown. Relationships between the Mechanite Empire and the contemporaneous civilizations, primarily the Daviites and the Sarkics, were often fraught with tension. Though proof of alliances between the Mechanites and the Daviates against the Adi Um Empire has been encountered. Tensions between the Mechanites and the Adi Um Empire reach an all time high around the end of the 11th century BCE. Evidence of colossus constructed for this war has been found as far away as the Arakum Desert. Accounts on the end of the war vary. 
Though it is agreed upon that while the Mechanites ultimately won the war, it dealt significant damage to the state, leading to the collapse of the Empire shortly afterwards. Artifacts from this time period would be salvaged by various anomalous organizations over the years, surfacing as recently as the Seventh Occult War. The City-State of Amane The survivors of the Mechanite State experienced a schism after the fall of the Empire. A significant portion traveled to other lands, hoping to find new territory in which to settle. The rest stayed on Amane, a small settlement mostly undamaged by the war. For both groups, the period immediately after the collapse of the Empire was defined by the need for secrecy. The surrounding states immediately claimed dominion over the Empire's former territory, hoping to find the secrets of the Mechanites' technology. Similarly, the former members of the Empire were hunted, considered a valuable source of information. Survivors looking for new places to live hid their origins, often practicing their religion secretly or conflating it with other deities. It is believed most descendants of these survivors eventually abandoned their faith to facilitate integration with society. Meanwhile, the survivors in the now city-state of Amani hid information on its location from the rest of the world, living in self-sufficiency, or recovering from the effects of the war. It would take them until the 6th century BCE to regain their status as an influential player in regional politics, primarily due to their advanced technology. While their overall military strength fell significantly with the fall of the Empire, engineers from the city-state were highly prized among other civilizations, getting them several important allies that guaranteed them a continued existence. No longer possessing a numerous army nor control over sea trade, the city-state of Amani would instead concentrate on agriculture and the production of unique goods. The city-state remained closed to foreigners, not willing to show any sign of weakness to outsiders, with the majority of contact with other states coming from trade in designated ports, and the true location of the city remaining a secret. This state of isolation would remain until conquest by the Romans in the 1st century BCE. The city-state of Amani was profoundly influenced by the Pythagorean cults, incorporating their belief on the importance of numerology and harmony. It is believed the current Gnostic reading of the Broken God theology may have its roots in this period. These spiritual influences led to a marked increase in the production of literature and art around the 5th century BCE, marking this the golden age of Mechanite literature. Similar advances in automaton design would occur around the 1st century BCE, culminating in the creation of what are believed to be the first examples of artificial intelligence in the European continent. The city-state of Amani remained neutral in most military conflicts of the time, though they are known to have aided the Achaemenid Empire in the war against the Sarkics, as well as to have at least supplied military equipment to the Kingdom of Carthage at the time of the Punic Wars. The city-state of Amani would be destroyed during the 1st century CE, after a conflict with the Hebrews proved their military strength could no longer be underestimated. While followers of the religion remained, no centralized body would form until the 19th century. The Industrial Revolution the Church of the Broken God experienced a resurgence during the Industrial Revolutions, seeing the proliferation of machinery and mass production as a signal of McCain's imminent return. The various surviving cells would unify into what is known today as the Broken Church, looking to spread the word of their god in the new era. At the same time, among members of the church, debates started regarding the viability of conversion into mechanical entities, searching for a post nabanic state of being. Footnote 4 post nabanic refers to a hypothetical state in which the converted subject achieves a state of communion with their god. Conversion had not been a widespread practice since the fall of the Mechanite Empire, and several high-ranking members considered any conversion different from the one given by the then-lost god's Icar to be a mockery of the broken god. It is believed the tensions inside the church were exacerbated by the oligarchy of the time, seeing benefits in the new religion but not willing to submit themselves to the church's authority. Ultimately, this led to the first great schism of the church's modern history, when several spinner cells defected from the main body of the church to seek enlightenment in the new technologies during the 1840s. With the economic support of several important factory owners and the knowledge of the church splinter cells, several experiments on possible paths of augmentation were performed. The splinter cells looked to further evangelize the oligarchy of the time, emphasizing the usefulness of the Mechanite anomalous technology and spectacle of augmentations as reasons to convert. While few adopted the faith, many would become sponsors of the nascent splinter cells, looking to benefit from their knowledge. The increased awareness of anomalous technology threatened to destroy the veil, leading to the first conflicts between the then nascent foundation and the church. Eventually, the majority of these cells would become unified under the patriarchs of the Cogwork Orthodox Church which became the most important segment of the Church of the Broken God by the end of the 19th century. The 20th Century 
The Church of the Broken God started the 20th century in the most stable situation it had been since the destruction of the city-state of Amane. The discovery of several suspected Broken God artifacts by the Cogwork Orthodoxy led many in cults to believe it was only a matter of time until the Broken God was reassembled. The Broken Church, not willing to let the Splinter Group be the ones to unite God, started their own hunt for the artifacts. The most important figure in recent church history is Robert Bumaro a mysterious individual who is first recorded as a collector of items suspected of being related to the church. He recruited several enforcers and, through anomalous means, enhanced most of them until they were able to communicate with their god. This was unusual for the broken church, as, unlike the Cogwork orthodoxy, they usually discourage artificial enhancements. Bumaro and his agents were able to collect close to a hundred artifacts of presumed importance to the church, before disappearing in 1943. He would reappear in 1946, claiming the title of leader of the church and builder of God. To this day, Bumaro remains a highly respected figure, not just inside the broken church, but among all other known denominations. A final schism occurred during the 1990s, though conflicts within the church had started in the 1970s. As technology advanced, many members of the existing churches felt the dogmas were outdated, and that the church had to adapt its message to the times. The inclusion of electronic devices and augmentations was the cause of severe controversy in the Cogwork Orthodox Church, culminating in its prohibition by the patriarchs as a heretical development. This addition to the schema resulted in numerous excommunications and defections. Similarly to the situation in the 19th century, numerous splinter cells would emerge, though with significantly less success at attracting funding. Most of them would eventually unify during the second half of the 1990s, following the teachings of a woman named St. Hedwig to establish the Church of Maxwellism. Footnote 5. Information retrieved from the Church likens St. Hedwig to actress and inventor Hedy Lamarr, though this claim has not been verified. With commercial links to major players in the anomalous world, such as Prometheus Labs, the Church of Maxwellism would soon establish itself as one of the major denominations of the Church. Current Status The Church of the Broken God has an estimated 300,000 members as of today. There's an increase in families of mixed faiths, as Maxwellism looks to evangelize newer generations using popular media and the internet, making them the most important threat to normalcy among members of the church, despite a relative lack of military power compared to the other two denominations. Current church operations center around the recovery of an island off the coast of Greece. The reasons for this interest are currently unknown. Cogworth Orthodox writ is compiled in what is called the Schema of the Patriarchs. In these documents, God is referred to as the McCain and the Devil as the Flesh. What follows is a partial table of contents of the Schema of the Patriarchs. Volume 1 contains the Broken God. 2. Church of Broken God History. 3. The Errors of the Church of the Broken God. 4. The Schism. 6. Cathedral of Industry History 7 and 8. Indices of Standardization 9. Standardized Fabrication Technologies 11. Standardized Personnel Technologies 12. Standardized Components 13. Standardized Metallurgy 16. Standardized Weaponry 17. Experimental Weaponry 19. Quests of the Inventor's Faithful 20. Quest of the Analytical Engines 21. Meditation on the Blueprints 54. The Heresies of the Maxwellists 55. The Abominations of the Flesh Orders of the Orthodoxy Patriarchs A highly insular body of unknown composition and extent Provides final decision-making and control over all church matters As well as producing the memoranda and texts that become the schema Schematists Faithful Print, compile, and organize the schema based on instructions from the patriarchs. Theoretically equally ranked with all other orders, but in practice exert slightly more political pool because of their editing privileges over writ. Legates Faithful Internal Affairs, Inquisition, Court System Investigate heresy, mediate disputes, entitled to direct action in cases of conflict within the cathedral or other church properties. One of the two officially armed orders, the other being the militants. Militants Faithful External Affairs and Self-Defense 
deal directly with overt and covert threats to the church, beyond the purview of the legates. Function as ambassadors or representatives to other groups, except in matters of doctrine, wherein militant forces might be used to supplement a core group of legates. One of the two officially armed orders, the other being the legates. Fabricators Faithful Oversee production on church properties. Act as foremen and quality control for lay brothers and sisters working in fabrication duties. Determine which new inventions are to be sent to the patriarchs for standardization approval. Inventors Faithful Tasked with refining and creating new potential standardized designs. Embark on quests to answer key questions of theology and design. By default, all church sentient analytical engines act as members of the inventors. Notable Saints Saint Legate Trunnion, patron of the Legate's Faithful, of the Tenacious, of Pragmatic Compromise. One of the very few Orthodoxy Saints not canonized posthumously. Yeah. Casting out of the factory during the early period of the Schism. Sometimes frowned upon by more conservative members of the Orthodoxy for her willingness to use relatively covert methods to root out heretical thought. Saint Schematus Platon. Patron of the Written Word, of Editors, of Timetables, and of Diagrammatic Organization. Enacted massive reforms of the newly founded Schematist Faithful during the Early Schism, leading to the highly organized and cross-referential form of the modern schema, also known for her frequent and highly successful dabblings in theology and philosophy. Saint Inventor Diaphragm. Patron of the Inventor's Faithful, of Designers, of Repairment, and of Cognition Engines. Founded the Inventor's Faithful and began the first quest for knowledge that would lead to early cognition and analytical engines. Engaged in several well-known philosophical collaborations with Saint Platon, which were fundamental to orthodoxy philosophy of the mind. Saint Scranton. Patron of spatial fabric manipulation, higher dimensional mathematics, and anthracite coal extraction. Known in life as the 19th century American industrialist and politician George W. Scranton. He was never a member of the church, but produced several key anomalous mechanical technologies that allowed for analog manipulation of multidimensional spaces. His works were vital jumping-off points for both the church and the SCP Foundation, who derived much of their reality stabilization technology from Scranton inventions. Saint Fabricator Baffle Patron of Workflow and the Assembly Line one of the earliest foremen of the cathedral, Baffle was responsible for laying out the general organizational plan that the cathedral's work areas follow today. Saint Inventor Chalk, patron of Chorus, dedicated his life to the study of sound, audiology, and to composing many of the Orthodoxy's most classic hymns. Most members of the Orthodoxy learned some or all of his Symphony of Assembly in childhood. Saint Inventor Einrichner, patron of the Intelligated. Very little about her personal life is known, save for that she spontaneously vanished one day during a meeting of the other inventors, leaving behind no personal effects save for her seminal In Search of Disembodiment, considered the chief text for those more spiritual members who seek life beyond their corporeal forms. Alright, that's all I have to say about this subject. Thank you all for watching, and a special thanks to all my patrons, especially my tier 4 patron, Alexis the Great. If you want to help support this channel, go ahead and visit my Patreon for early access to videos, skip recommendations, and other Patreon benefits.